Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Ortho Wire podcast. Uh, today we'll be talking about the uh, pedo partial. I uh, got an order in for pedo partial and decided to take some pictures and some videos. So, uh, here are the models that I got to work from. They weren't poured up very good. They're good impressions, just weren't poured up very good. Uh, I was asked to remove that upper left, upper right incisor. Uh, and replace all four front teeth. So this video is going to be a little different. Uh, I didn't leave the camera running the whole time. It would have taken a lot of hard job space. So I kept the camera taking interval pictures every five seconds. So that's why some of this looks weird. But uh, I did take some videos. Here's the first video of me prepping the model. Uh, I had to take off that tooth. And so I just like using a uh, uh, stone wheel and just let it it takes it off really fast so I'll mark my gingiva so I don't go too far and then later in the video you'll see me use a, uh, a burr acrylic burr just to help smooth it and uh, make it look more natural kind of like how it would look after maybe a, a few weeks of healing actually pretty much just try to make it look like the other side the rest of the uh, edentulous area Okay, as I'm finishing this up, I need to explain something. I did, didn't record me fitting the bands on this. Uh, that's a whole nother uh, episode and a whole nother uh, video that, that will take a while to do. Um, so I skipped all that. You'll notice uh, when I start bending the wires that uh, the bands already fit. Uh, and I'll, I'll try to get that up uh, as soon as I can. Here I am bending the main support wire for this appliance, the lingual arch. Uh, sorry for the pictures are out of focus. Again, my camera was on a five second interval and uh, it was just taking a picture of five seconds. Uh, there are many methods for making a pedo partial. Uh, and this one just involves a simple little bend like this. Uh, I picked up this uh, method from the Great Lakes uh, book. The one seen here, Practical Guide to Orthodontic Appliances. This is a, let's see, get this from greatlakesortho.com. It's about $150, $200. Well worth it. Uh, I, I just like this design. It's real simple to do. Uh, other designs involve soldering a spike on, on the front of this lingual arch and then drilling a hole in the tooth of the... Uh, Pontic and setting the Pontic on that spike and all this stuff. Anyway, this is real simple. It's good for four tooth um, pedal partials. Uh, the one where you use a little spike inside of a pedal partial tooth, a Pontic, uh, those are good for just single tooth pedal partials where there's not much support acrylic around that tooth. This one's going to have a lot of support acrylic, you know, from, from C to C or K9 to K9. And on the uh, lingual or the labial part, the lip side, there'd be a lot of acrylic too. As you can see, you're going to want a, a little space under the wire uh, in the acrylic area so the acrylic can really get around the wire. If your wire's right up against the tissue, you're not going to be able to get much acrylic under there and it's a chance of this whole thing breaking off in the mouth, which is bad. So uh, it'd take a little time uh, bending this wire, trying to get it where you need it to be.
when you're ready, you're gonna have to you just solder this like any other uh, appliance. Um, but when you remove it, just be careful uh, that you don't destroy the bands or um, destroy the teeth. If the bands were embedded in the impression as it was poured up, uh, it's better just to break off those teeth. And then you can uh, super glue it back down or, or sticky wax it back down when you're ready to apply the acrylic. But it's good to be able to remove this uh, so you can fill in voids, uh, put separator on, and just generally get it ready for acrylic. Uh, and then put the wires back down. Also helps to prep the wires if you have soldered those spikes on there to prep them before the acrylic goes on. Okay, now you got everything prepped, ready to go, the band seated back on. I like to initially uh, set the teeth, see what I got. I like to use this model block material. It's used for blocking out models and casts when you do suck downs on like a ball star or something like that. Uh, it's great tackiness. I, I like to put it on here and then it holds the teeth and so I'll get to eye what the teeth look like. So. Okay, this next part's a little boring, a little time consuming, a little lengthy. I left all the pictures in so you can see what it's like. So while you watch it, enjoy the music. Spacing between the pedo teeth are natural um, as the kid gets older his jaw grows but uh, the teeth don't grow so they start spreading apart which you do need that space for when the permanent teeth come in so if you see me leaving space in there it's on purpose uh, it, it's more of a natural look for uh, pedo partials Okay, after all the all that time setting up the teeth, what I've done was take a piece of wire and uh, bend it, I think it's 032 wire, and bend it to the contour of the mouth. 
and then uh, just sticky waxed all the teeth to it and then took the wire and sticky waxed that to the uh, permanent teeth or the, the stone teeth. Um, what I'm doing here with the white wax is just making a border so that when the acrylic guy pours it up all the acrylic won't run out as tall as that vestibular is great impression as tall as that vestibular area is it'll probably run all the way down down it because uh, you got to make it pretty runny so that you can get acrylic in the retention areas of the teeth and around the wire so that's why I'm putting that acrylic that uh, white wax border on there uh, just to help the acrylic guy because uh, I'm nice like that okay ready for acrylic uh, sorry I didn't get a video of him pouring acrylic but it's pretty basic just pour it up like you normally would like a retainer just make sure you get acrylic up underneath the teeth uh, make sure the acrylic is runny enough that uh, you won't get any uh, air bubbles. Okay, the next few videos are just going to show him using uh, su successively smaller and smaller burrs, starting with the slave burr and ending with a little tiny round burr. Uh, just whittling down the uh, plants to where we think will be comfortable, but have still have enough acrylic to um, look natural and to support the teeth. Okay, so he uses this acrylic burr because it's got a nice rounded 
end on it uh, to be able to smooth out on the lingual side of these teeth. Um, and he, here he is checking the occlusion, make sure it doesn't open their bite too much. And uh, checking it from the back side, make sure all the teeth touch. And, uh, and then he adds a little finishing adjustments and then we uh, pumice and polish and there's a finished product. I know this video doesn't do justice to the effort involved in uh, doing a pedal partial, but hopefully there's enough here that uh, it'll help anybody who has a question about doing pedal partials. Uh, leave a comment below or check out the site designerretainer.com. Thanks. Bye.